as strong as I was hoping for. Yeah, I'm a little disappointed in the LS. <laughs> it's a pooch. Well, I wouldn't call it a pooch, but you know, the LS is supposed to be the magic engine. So what we just saw is 371.2 pound-feet of torque at 5,300 RPM and 451.8 horsepower at a big 7,000 RPM. I think that this combination is more optimized for the turbo, namely in the department of the intake manifold. I don't think I would choose this intake for this engine with this cam. Not if you're driving it on the street. I mean, yeah. it's the runners are pretty short, but really, when was the last time you saw a 327 make 450? Especially at less than nine and a half to one compression. Yeah. yeah. Or right I at mean, nine and a half pretty, to one. It is pretty good. It's okay. We're just really spoiled. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's, it's not flawed. But on the other hand, look how nice, actually, the torque curve is. From 3,500 all the way to 6,500. That's a nice driving engine. So there's our heads cam intake power curve. Now we need to compare it to two things. First, let's have a look at it versus bone stock. Cam heads intake oh. versus bone stock. Oh, look at that. It's really bad. Yeah. I am surprised, actually, that our version with the intake and cam and heads and everything didn't give up more torque than this. It's really only a problem below 3,500 RPM. I thought it was going to take a nose dive, you know, from 5,250 on down. But yeah. Yeah. I mean, we added 36 degrees of intake duration. And that intake And manifold. a race intake manifold where the runner length went from this and the truck manifold to that and this one. So this actually isn't that bad. And now I feel a little bit better about what we did with the aftermarket <laughs> bolt-ons because if I had no turbo involved in my life, I would go here and go, look, we just picked up uh, 120 horsepower. Yeah, see, that's an absolute right? win, except yeah. you know in your brain what can come. Well, let's have a look at what's to come and let's compare built versus boost. Oh, oh, that's really depressing. Wow, that's a punch in the gut. Right wow. <laughs> that's really bad. I mean, so much torque. Red lines here represent the stock 5.3 with almost 10 pounds of boost from that turbo, and the black lines are what we just did with almost $4,000 worth of speed parts. That's 200 pound feet of torque. Difference, difference. between boost and no boost, yeah. yeah. It's not like this right here is shocking information, it's just disappointing information <laughs> because we'd like to see the speed parts actually be so much better. But I'll tell you what, the extended RPM range kind of appeals to me with the uh, hopped up engine compared to the boosted engine that falls off a cliff at 5,800. But that's because when this is bone stock with boost, that's with that 190 at 50 cam. Yeah, I know. And even with boost, it couldn't carry RPM. Now we've proven our ability for this thing to run to 7,000 RPM because of the cam and because of the heads and intake. I think the next step is going to be really enlightening. We're going to go put boost Best on of top worlds. of built. Best of both worlds. Ready? Yeah. Turbo. Ooh, the star of the show, and I don't mean Dulcet. Oh, I thought, it was, thought you were talking about me. No. So I should give some more specs on this turbo while he's hanging that thing. It's a WarGorner S480, which means it has a billet 80 millimeter compressor wheel in it. The exhaust side is 96. It's a 1.32 AR. And Richard Holdner in an earlier test had converted this particular one from a T6 to a T4. So it's a little bit of a hybrid. We got the Boost Plus built combo all set up here. We're gonna run it right on the same wastegate spring as it was on before, and then the real question will be, will I be able to get Brule to like crank it up later? Let's see. So Steve's got it all tuned up. This is gonna be the first time Dulcich and I get to see the run with cam heads intake and yeah. Boost. Built plus Boost. This is gonna be good. Earlier in the day, I said to Dulcich, I bet it makes 800, and he's like, oh, no way. No way. <laughs>